Okay. Um, a rifle of mass 10 grams, so we'll convert that to kilograms. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3. That's going to be 0 0.01 kilograms. Strikes and embeds itself in a block of mass 0 0.99. So the bullet is going and it's going to embed itself in the block. And this is at rest on a frictionless horizontal surface and is attached to a coiled spring. The impact compresses the spring. Um, 10 centimeters, so we'll right away convert that to meters, um, 0.1 meters. Calibration of the spring shows that the force of two newtons is required to press the spring one centimeter, so we're going to use that when we do Hooke's Law. Um, find the magnitude of the velocity of the block after impact and what was the initial speed of the bullet. So, first of all, they just told us that basically if you have a force of 2 newtons, it compress, compresses the spring 1 centimeter. So, whenever we have a spring, you know, there's two things we can do. We have either the potential energy stored in the spring or we have Hooke's Law. So, Hooke's Law says F is equal to minus kx. If we rearrange it, I can then find the spring constant, so K. And then remember, the force in the spring is opposite the force that's being um, applied to compress the spring. So this is going to be F over X. So this is going to be 2 newtons. And we don't have to worry about the sign convention over 0 0.1 meters because we're just finding the spring constant. So this is 200 newtons per meter. So that's my spring constant K. All right, so how do I do this problem? So it says find the magnitude of the velocity just after impact. So to do that, I can do conservation of energy. So conservation of energy says the total energy before is equal to the total energy after. And the energy is the sum of the potential in Connecticut. So K naught plus U naught is equal to KF plus U F. Before I substitute, initially, let's look at this picture. Here's my initial condition. So initially, there's no, obviously not any gravitational potential energy and the spring's not compressed, so there's no energy in this compressed spring, so that's zero. After, when it comes to rest, there's no more kinetic energy and then that's zero. So now when I substitute in, I have one half MA plus MB. Remember now, when the spring becomes compressed, this is the velocity of the bullet V, which I could call VA. This is at rest, but they're moving together. The bullet is embedded in the block, so I'm going to call that V prime squared is equal to one half KX squared. All right, so if I want to solve for V prime, that's the velocity of the bullet in the block that's compressing the spring, I will just rearrange the equation to solve for the unknown in terms of the known. So my unknown is this. So what I'll do is, well, first of all, I can get rid of the one halves. So I want to leave this on one side of the equal sign in the numerator all by itself. That's how you, so I'm going to divide by this. So I'm going to have V prime squared is equal to KX squared over MA plus MB. And then again, I'm going to rearrange the equation because I don't want to forget to, to the square root at the end. So I'm going to square root both sides. So V prime is the square root of KX squared over MA plus MB. So it's the square root of 200 newtons per meter times x, which was 0.1 meters squared, divided by 0.01 plus 0.990 kilograms. And when I do that on my calculator, V prime comes out to be 141 meters per second. So I used conservation of energy. For part B, Again, it said, what was the initial speed? So now I'm just doing my typical conservation of momentum problem. I have the bullet. 
the block is at rest, the bullet becomes embedded in the block, and they move together with one velocity. So now I'm going to do conservation of momentum. So for part B, I'm going to say the total momentum before is equal to the total momentum after. So I'm going to have MADA, that's the mass of the bullet, plus the velocity of the bullet, plus the mass of the block times the velocity of the block is equal to the combined mass times V prime, which I already found. Now, the block is initially at rest, so because VB is zero, the whole term goes to zero. And now I'm going to rearrange the equation to solve for the unknown in terms of the known and solve for VA. So I'm going to have VA is equal to MA plus MB times V prime over MA. So now I'll substitute in and I'll have 0 0.1 plus 0 0.990 times 1.41 divided by 0 0.01 kilograms. And when I put all that in my calculator, it comes out to be 141 meters per second. So again, a lot of times these conservation of momentum problems, it's not just momentum. We have to go back. We have to use, in this case, um, we have to use Hooke's Law, and we also have to use conservation of energy.